Okay, in today's video we're going to take a look at one of our trade setups that was a request from one of the breakout sessions and that was uh, Foot Locker. Now actually we did have some higher support here that didn't end up holding but the second lower decision that included quite a bit of symmetry plus some retracements and there might even be an extension in there. Uh, that was coming in and held at the 52.60 to 53.09 area. Okay, now typically if you're going to use these levels, you're going to define risk below them. But what I like to see first is a trigger that tells you that it's worth placing a bet against the zone, you know, before getting too excited about it. Now in the bigger picture, if this is actually, you know, a two step into support, the upside potential is very healthy. There's no guarantee that we're going to get to this target, but the target is always what we shoot for. But let's take a look at what might have been signals for you if you knew that this zone was an important trade decision. Well, first, if you're day trading, you could use something that's like a two minute chart that would give you an entry relatively quickly to where you don't have a ridiculous amount of risk, but you just need to get out of it by the end of the trading day. So that is, um, well, here is where you had the moving average crossover to the upside. I used the 834 EMA combo. I also want to see it take out a prior swing high for a shift in pattern, you know, against that support that we were looking at. So there were some, um, you know, triggers over here for an entry where your risk could have been defined just underneath that low. And yes, we've had a nice move so far. But what else can you look at? Well, it also triggered with the aggressive swing trade trigger on the 15 minute chart. And um, here's where you took out a prior swing high. You had the moving average crossover. So this would have been, it looks like a slightly higher entry than, you know, the, the one on the two minute chart. But, you know, it's still so far so good. And now all we have to do is, you know, manage the trade if you're already in it. If you're not in it, you can always look at buying a pullback and then defining your risk underneath that last low. You know, that's another way to look at it. And um, one of the things we really want to see is we really want to see it clear this 5660 area, um, which is 100% of that prior rally swing. So if we can push through that, then the odds increase for a continued rally towards at least the next hurdle up at the $61 area. And then, you know, if it plays out fully, then yes, we still have a target up at 72.05. So that's something to look at. And uh, I am wrong if it takes out this support.